So um, we've talked. We've also talked about a lot of resources today, thanks to the educators who have been sharing, who have been doing a lot of work um, with our material. So um, we have under the exhibits feature, we have Women of Valor here, and the Feminism exhibit are both under um, exhibits. And the Women of Valor exhibit is 16 biographical, uh, sort of biographical collections on 16 different women. Um, and all of these women also have a poster in the Women of Valor poster series, which you can click on this link here to buy some of the posters or all of the posters. Um, and for 16 of those women, there are actually two women that have posters that don't have exhibits. Rose Schneiderman, whose life is chronicled in the labor curriculum, and uh, Glickola Pamlin, who didn't have enough primary source material for us to build an exhibit, but she does have a poster. So, and you'll just see within each exhibit, there are um, all of these sort of chapters, and each chapter includes both secondary sources and primary sources uh, to introduce you to the women. So this is a great research tool, also a great parallel for the poster series. Um, the feminism exhibit is here. As Jessica said, you can use a timeline to follow chronologically. You can sort of search it thematically or just search by women's names. Um, if you're interested in the intersection between Judaism and feminism, this is a really fantastic resource. Um, and it's based off of artifacts that were given to us by uh, Jewish women who are involved in the feminist movement. Um, the big piece that we talked about today was the Living a Legacy curriculum, um, which is 24 lessons, eight in the labor um, section and 16 in the civil rights section. Um, and these all, uh, you can see, here's the list here. If we look at one individual lesson, they all follow the same structure. So you have a brief summary, you have an outline here that will allow you to jump to different parts of the lesson. Each lesson has an introductory essay. Um, and the nice thing is that at the bottom of these pages, I'm just gonna scroll all the way down. So at the bottom of these pages, we have a comment section. And in the comment section, educators who have been teaching this material will post modifications or additional materials. And I welcome and invite all of you to do this as you're using this material to say, oh, I brought in this movie. In this case, um, Judy commented that she um, also brought in some resources about Senda Berenson and Drew Lovejoy um, when she was talking about Jewish identity. So, and she posted the links here in case other people wanted to bring in more resources. So in the comment section, uh, we're providing an opportunity for you teachers to share your ideas with one another. Um, and then the last piece that was mentioned is our go and learn activity guides. So um, as Jessica said, these are sort of broad rather than deep. Each one focuses on one primary source and sort of one theme. But if you look at the activity guide, each activity guide includes the primary sources, as well as three separate lesson plans for different age groups. So you have one for high school and middle school, one for family education, and one for adults. And um, these also include a background essay for you to educate yourself on the topic before you go and teach it to your students, whoever they may be. Um, also, the Participants in this webinar all participated in the Institute for Educators, which is our five-day intensive learning program. Um, we're not holding an institute this year, unfortunately, because we are um, expanding the program. So it's actually great, except that we're not having the institute, but instead we're having two workshops. One will be in New York City on June 24th and 25th, and another one will be in uh, San Francisco on August 5th and 6th. Both programs are free of charge and there are still some spots available. So, well, we can't um, offer travel stipend for the East Coast one. We, um, if you can get to New York and find a place to stay, you're welcome to register for the program and we would love to have you. We'll be focusing on the Living the Legacy material in both programs, um, giving you some historical content, some background information, opportunity to interact with historians and also 
opportunities to have lessons modeled for you and um, engage with other educators and share ideas about how to bring this material into your classes.